What, Snappy? What? Okay, so we're just uh, sitting out here enjoying some shade. Peter and I. He's doing some housekeeping. We're having iced tea. So, Bohika, how are you? This will be nice and relaxed. So, <clears throat> there's this thing called a being handicapped. And it's a real, it, it's a real thing. You can see that, right? Hey, Stephanie, how you doing? So, in the afternoons and at various times of the day, Peter here, who's elderly, spends time in his van, often comes to the park right here. Oh, look at that. 107, huh? Yeah, we're starting to cool down. I think it's only about 98 right now, and we have a huge orange glow from fires. We have some fires burning up in the mountains. 82 in Michigan. Is it raining, Stephanie? So look, anyway, um, this is where Peter comes to um, enjoy the public park. You know, the public park that has reserved handicap parking. Except, oh, wait a minute. Hmm. So only certain people can access the public park. I'm not sure why that is, because I enjoy coming down here <laughs> and sitting and having iced tea and chatting with people. It's a public park. Mm -hmm. And so instead of being able to pull in here and legally park as a handicapped person, they're going to deny a handicapped person the ability to use the public park and instead force him to find other areas of shade that don't exist within his ability to obtain. Because right here, he can park on flat ground. He can have all of everything he needs to assist him next to his van. And he can park here and be in the shade and enjoy the public park, but not anymore. Because somebody, who knows who, drug those barriers across the entrance of this circle. So this is the only no parking sign in here. Everything is closed all the time, signs everywhere. This area is closed, no parking, no standing, no sitting, no nothing. There was a trash can here. It's, it's since been um, taken away as well. You know, Denver's response to picking up the trash. So if you, if you wanna ride your bike in here, you know, you're just gonna cause a traffic jam trying to get through the This is Denver, Stephanie. Denver. We're in Denver. I'm sorry. I didn't make that very clear. What's going on, Sean? Isn't this nice? Isn't this nice? Yeah, I mean, you don't need to be riding your bike through here. This is the public park. It's not for you. It's not for you. Everyone else. Everyone else. Just not for us. So I'm just going to park. Well, Peter and I, we like to enjoy the shade. Peter's handicapped. This is the only level ground of handicapped parking that gives him access to shade. So, you know, there's no parking. I feel like I'm in a cage. Right? Well, you kind of are. Fuck parks and rec. What a bunch of shit, huh? That's a good trailer. You need water? Water? Yeah. I just don't have any frozen ones. Yeah, I got lucky. 
Right on. You guys are resourceful. I wonder if that, uh, if you could just hook a chain up to those and drag that on out of the way. <laughs> That's Honestly, there's no signs here. We, there's, we have no idea why these are here, how they got here. Is it closed? Is the public park closed on this end? Because it's not closed on the other end. So if you're riding your bike or you want to access anything through here, and if you're handicapped, mind you, where you have all of the the sidewalks that are handicap accessible right there like when you're riding your bike right except here if you're handicapped um good luck you know what i believe they did it for to stop all of us literally from going into the park of course of course they did and they took the trash can <laughs> naturally Denver hates the homeless. Yep. They hate the homeless. They hate the handicap. They hate the handicap homeless. Yeah, it's a great place. I think I'm going to ride my car with you. <laughs> I think you should. <laughs> I'll take you there to testify. All right, bet. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. <laughs> you too. Yeah, isn't that nice? Yeah, Stephanie, do you uh, have, can you post some of that information? Can you ask him if that is the frame from a pull behind child cart? Okay, I'll see Sean again. I'll ask him. These guys build everything out of anything. Yeah, the, the whole tiny home villages, they're not going to do it because they work. They're not going to do that. It would give it would give the homeless some meaningful opportunities uh, at ownership, you know, by square footage. I mean, why would we do that when Hancock has dumped forty five million dollars? This is fact: forty five million dollars into temporary solutions for the homeless, which included fifteen hundred temporary beds down at the National Western Coliseum, which was a giant flop. Which, by the way unreported was a near decapitation of someone down there. Um, I do not think that person survived. Hey, do we know? Yeah, yeah and they're not going to report the crime in, in these shelters, but they're going to dump 45 million in that and not 45 million into doing something that has a meaningful solution. Do you remember the, the guy that almost got beheaded at the National Western, that guy did die, right? Do you remember that story? Oh, maybe I didn't tell you. I'm assuming. What you cooking? Cheese. Cheese. No cheese for Slabby. No cheese for Slabby. I'm doing a live stream on YouTube talking about <clears throat> the discrimination against the elderly and handicap. No. Nah. They don't do things like that. Nah. Peter pays taxes. He pays a lot of taxes. He's paid a lot of taxes throughout his whole life. Oh, you know what? That's because I need to make you a mod, Stephanie. There. Now you can. Thank you. That would be awesome. So, yeah, there's a couple park rangers down here. But it's hard telling. It's hard telling who, who did this. Well, I'm assuming parks did this. They do a lot of shafty shit to people down here because they get away with it because they get to harass and threaten and they tell people they're going to trespass them and blah, 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 blah. But they really have no authority. There's only a couple of park rangers out here that have authority. And even at that, if they're going to make an arrest, they got to call the cops, so. Awesome, Stephanie. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Yeah, ingenuity. Every one of them. 
Saw him earlier. Gave him water. He's a nice kid. He kind of came out of nowhere. I don't know. This is growing. Um, this isn't even the main camp that I was helping with, with trash. But I am going to ask this person if they want a trash bag for that pile. So yeah, you can't park anywhere here. You can't do anything. You can't even be, you can't even be here. It's a crime to be here. This is, this is public land. You notice the path here. Obviously, not too many care. The park rangers will tell you there's millions of needles down there and lots of human shit. Well, I guess until you get some porta potties, there's going to be human shit by the river. There might even be people in the river bathing. Since Denver's closed all the rec centers, nobody has anywhere to bathe. You know what they're doing for bathing? They're buying the uh, chemical sprayers at Home Depot or Walmart. You know, the five-gallon pump sprayers. And they put water in them. And shower out here. There's Peter's shower curtain. This guy had an actual shower tent. You know, those shower tents you can set up that have the bag for heating your water. Guest relations, recreation at denvergov.org. Yeah, why, why close the park? Why are the barriers down here at, so this is Grant Frontier Park in between here and the next road. So this would be the uh, south end of that park. So yeah, you might want to ask them. Yeah, it's yeah, it was one of those camp, uh, portable camper showers. But you've got veggies and everything. What you cooking, Peter? Not He's cooking something, boiling Not water. You don't have what? A kitchen, but I don't have to use it up. Uh-huh. You do have a kitchen. This is your kitchen. You got lots of counter space. <laughs> up at the top. I give us great counter High. Space. High counter space. Yeah, like Peter couldn't um, capitalize on a tiny home. Mm-hmm. All you need is what? How many more square feet? About 200. 200. I was just going to say that. We'll be generous and give Peter 210 square feet of living space. And he'll and he'll run the whole show. Peter is the creme de la creme of eating healthy. <laughs> he just doesn't drink any water. Hi, Slabby Girl. And that's his pup, Slabby Girl. Yeah, and my friend Stephanie here says then you can have your community veggie gardens. You know, uh, I do think the that is uh, one of the things that is table. And they uh, give out veggies. Over there by that park where we had lunch? Yeah. They give out really deformed veggies. Deformed. <laughs> I tried to get a space over there. This is kind of vegetable. You go over by it. You know what? You should um, you should sign up to get a, a plot over there. I don't want to grow it. I've done that. Before. Then you should get a plot. Because you put your hard-earned sweat into a garden that hailstorm comes in August. Well, you could make it. You could do some hail proofing. A hail proof greenhouse. Yeah, one of those too. Look at me. I'm a multitasker. Iced tea. It's slabby. She's so cute.
Do we need more government housing? No, we need less government housing because they fuck it up. They don't know how to provide housing. Like I was saying earlier, $45 million Hancock spent on temporary housing for the scandemic? Hell no. Stephanie, from what I have seen, projects get a bad rep for crime and a lot of times homeless are criminal and they look out for each other in the community. Oh, they're their own crime fighting team. <laughs> Truly, they are. It's pretty rare that they need the cops. <laughs> you can't call the cops. In the tiny home village? Will that be one of the rules when we get that established? No cops. No cops? You can't call the cops? No, the old rule is that you don't go home. You what? That'll ruin the magic of the moment. <laughs> he says that'll ruin the magic of the moment. I know what you meant to say, Stephanie. You didn't have to retract that. I got it. <laughs> you have seen the projects work for the good of people firsthand. Uh, the projects become permanent housing. And you are under the guise of their rules. What is wrong with homeless going to work? for their own square footage. What's wrong with anyone going to work to own their own square footage? Affordably. Some people need rules. Well, there's societal rules no matter where you go. Some of the homeless are criminals, Stephanie. Some of that's true. Some of them are definitely violating the rights of others, creating victims. But that's not the majority. It's hot out here. Are the Rockies still in first place, do you know? You don't like baseball? I think baseball is slow as moving. <laughs> slow. Yeah, but it's moments of excitement. Like, you know, those moments that you look forward to. People make rules to make you mad. <laughs> well, I just think there are common sense rules and then there are rules that the government wants to make rules so they can criminalize. The villages usually have their own rules called city ordinances and if a big enough tiny home village, they can have a village center with a couple of Pieces for job searching and tables for working at. Oh, we have we, we have a tiny home village collaboration thing going on in Denver, and they are their own board. They they do they they're self governed, and th that's how any of those would have to work. But them getting access to to running water and electricity, you know, that's where the cities have the monopoly. So, you know, unless you can go somewhere into uh, a county it, Denver is not the place to make it happen it just isn't it's, it's never going to happen here because government is too corrupt they'll prevent it from happening so you have to go somewhere into a county that you're going to be able to be out in the middle of nowhere you're going to have to deliver supplies they're going to have to have their own working community. Yeah, most right, Peter? Most, most people, 
Most homeless people prefer that. <laughs> yeah, but what about the social order? Yeah, I mean, there's even a social order out here on the streets. So how does that, you know, I mean, you can't, you can't have all that drama. Some of these guys can't live with, without that drama. Or getting on their bike and riding to the Circle K or... Huh? They have a dollar what? They want a big gulp. A big gulp. Yeah, exactly. Modern conveniences. The homeless want their modern conveniences too. It's no different than being housed and say, for instance, me moving out into the middle of, of nowhere on the Eastern Plains in Akron, Colorado. And I can't, I can't go, I can't go to Kohl's. I can't go to Walmart without driving 45 minutes. I didn't like it. I don't think most, I don't think most of the population, at least right here, I mean, the elderly, yeah, you older guys would be fine with it, but not the younger ones. Huh? What would you be fine with? What would be fine with? What would be what? What would we be fine with? I don't know. Having choices, having, being able to choose where... Most people do want to go If, 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 if we found land out in the middle of nowhere and delivered supplies. I'm down. You're down. Well, yeah. Four people, I'll build five houses. And then I'll move into the acres. From all on one lot, one parking tab, one funky sidewalk. Yeah. As much water as yours. No, just central kitchen crap. No the central kitchen crap. Water. Individual bathrooms. Split mini to heat and air conditioning. No dishwasher, but a safe. Two or three burning soap. Small as you're ready. How are we going to get gas? How are we going to get gas, no gas and electricity? No gas, just electric. Just electric? We have a mini flip. It's a heat pump and air conditioner. One unit. Heat, heat pump and air conditioner. One, one unit for about heat. 15, 1800 bucks to buy one in the new house. We literally just need the land. No batteries? No batteries. Use the grid with the batteries. We need power into the grid, change power up. You're talking solar? No, oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you got to put some solar in to keep the hippies happy. Let's get a... <laughs> solar to keep the hippies happy. Let's get a... Let's... That would be how we do it. We need a, we need a big wind... We need a, a big turbine out there. One of the giant ones. That you hear at night. Because of cancer. <laughs> Still burn. <laughs> 24-7. <laughs> yes, Peter is happier than most because he has learned to adapt. This guy wants me to ask you if you're happy. Yeah, I reason so. I'd be happier, but I'm, I'm okay. You're happier because you got teeth too, huh? I got teeth, but they're in the drawer. <laughs> they're going to come out, but I have to go. Peter asked for teeth. I got him teeth. <laughs> He's cooking right now. Oh, Slabby, you're dumping stuff. Stop, Slabby girl. It's amazing what her little three pounds can accomplish. Yes, it's amazing. It's amazing. Come here. Can I let her walk with me? Come here. We're walking over here. So, Sabi and I think that Denver should pull their head out of their ass. Huh, Sabi? Because Sabi takes good care of Peter. Denver should pull their head out of their ass and move these barricades so this man can sit in some shade. That would be really nice, wouldn't it?
This is where he comes to sit. It's the only level ground. Thank you, David, that's nice. We need money. <laughs> we need money and volunteers. And we need the government to stop being assholes. And we need Peter to be able to park his van as a handicapped person right here and to be able to sit in the shade and rehydrate as a disabled person. Hey, somebody wanted me to ask you if that cart was made from a child stroller thing or a child buggy or something. I don't know what it was made from. What's his name? Gave it to me. I don't know. It looks like it. Yeah. Can you get your bike through there? Barely, huh? Yeah. Okie dokie. Handicap parking right here. Peter is of no nuisance. I think the park rangers are more of a nuisance. If trash is the issue, then have them pick up the trash. It's that simple. Like, ask. Because when I'm done here, I will bag up some trash for Denver to come pick up. I mean, it's really that easy since you guys have a monopoly on trash. And by the way, what you're doing to Peter is an ADA violation. Straight up. This path right here, this sidewalk is designed to accommodate handicapped individuals. There is a handicapped individual in that van that cannot even access this public park and this handicapped parking. He should sue your stupid asses, is what he should do. But Peter's not like that. Peter just survives and goes with the flow. You need some green grass, Slabby. Slabby needs some green ga grass. <laughs> green gas. Green gas it up there, Slabby girl. Her name is Slabby because she comes from the slabs of California in the slab desert. You guys should Google that. It's really fascinating. Peter spent time there. There's um, no regulation, no rules. Oh, yes. Is it going to rub her face in something yucky and cool? Huh? Oh, goodness sake. She's always got diamonds. Peter makes sure she's always got diamonds. Yep, the people will always be here. And uh, who do you want to surround yourself with? Yeah, what is going to happen? Because this is going to get a lot worse. And few do, few care. What do you see in there, Slabby girl? Hmm? What are you doing? And by the way, she's just a pup. She's about a year and a half old. And she is Peter's best friend. What you doing, Sabby girl? No, you stay here. Sabby, come here. You stay here. Good girl. Slabby. Oh, shit. Here we go. She's after a squirrel. It's good exercise for her. She doesn't get a lot of exercise. Slabby, come here. Slabby. Slabby. 
Slabby. Come here. You come here. Come on. Slabby. Come on. Come on, girl. She just loves to run. Good girl. Come here. Good girl. Slabby, come here. Come here, you. Come here. Slabby, come here, you silly girl. Do you get some exercise? Do you get some exercise? Yes. You silly girl chasing squirrels. You chasing squirrels. One of Peter's biggest fears is that somebody's going to steal her. Oh, that's a dead squirrel. Yeah, you stay away from that, huh? Goodness sake. Goodness sake. Goodness sake. No, I don't think there's any misunderstanding about how we all feel about um, the optics that have been portrayed on the homeless about the eyesore conversation, because that is, that's, those are the optics in Denver, because that's how the news portrays it. Peter will tell you, we don't want to live on your sidewalk. We don't want to live in front of your house. We don't want to take a shit on the sidewalks or the streets of Denver. The optics are horrible. There are a lot of stories out here. A lot. And these people have been out here a long time. Some of them. Yeah, I've been talking to Peter about taking her in. She needs to get fixed and... Those, those chips, though, really are expensive if they're tracking chips. Unless somebody knows of an inexpensive one or wants to donate one for her, I would love that. I'm sure Peter would, too. We need to take her to the vet and get her spayed. Sabi, let's go this way. Come on. Good girl. She'll run right back to Peter. Come here. Good girl. Yeah, slabby girl. Slabby girl. Yes, you're such a good girl. So again, you know, we're here just hanging out because uh, Peter can't access um, handicapped parking here because Denver and all their ingenuity um, thought these concrete barriers made sense to violate the disabled. And uh, Peter is very disabled, he can barely walk. So, hey Denver, I think Peter should sue you. Oh, I have a big scratch in my bumper. I wonder how that happened. Uh, David, I was wondering if you could let Peter park in your driveway for a few days and sit under your shade tree. It might make him feel good. Oh, so are you one of those? that's going to come into my in, come into my chat and um, cr craftily work your way in to tell me that I'm not doing enough for the homeless. Well, I don't have a fucking driveway. So, I don't have a shade tree either. Okay, my bad. I jumped in in the middle of a conversation. 
Oh, there's a cute little dog. They just have a lot of trolls that come in here and pull that shit. Oh, he's got a cute little dog over there. You see that dog over there? Like a boxer mix over there? Oh, I'm going to go with Oh, she went for a good run. She was chasing squirrels. Chasing squirrels. Oh, Peter, that looks good. I should put more water in her bowl. Huh? Old family roses. Yeah? You gonna melt that all together? Come here, girl. No, 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 no. Come here. Oh, yeah? Cheese and onion salad. Is that water over there? Green not growing in the All the good stuff. Here, puppy girl. Oh, I didn't tell you, I got kicked out of Sprouts yesterday for not wearing a mask. Uh, and I needed some produce and I needed an onion for dinner. I was making a pea salad. Fucked up my whole dinner. Boy, was I pissed. Wear a mask. Wear a no, I'm not wearing a mask. I do not comply. Furthermore, they're bad for you. You know that you know it's very bad for you to. Well, I read a thing when you close the studio the other day. Three. That's right in the COVID out of the point two percent. The flu shot too. We'll see. Yeah. No, it doesn't. Oh, it Peter. Peter. No. The death rate is very low. Oh, Peter and I, we have arguments about MSM false headlines. We don't agree on everything. We do agree on humanity. I had to go ask this guy if he wants a trash bag. But something bit my foot. Ouch. I'll be right back, Slappy. not abandoned it's broken down need parts belongs to so and so name and number in the window hmm. stop sign people don't give a shit this is like a freeway through here you get run down in here Oh, Slabby, you're not as tough as you think you are. No, you're not. Knock. Hey, do you need some water? Hey, pup. Hey. How are you doing? You're a pretty puppy, yes. Oh, goodness. Yes, hi. 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 Do you need some water? Yeah. Would you like uh, the orange trash bags too? Denver, Denver will pick up those orange trash bags 
if you put the trash in. Yeah, let me let me get you some. I'll get you some water. Public park use for only certain people, you know. <laughs> Help these people get their trash backed up. You guys, there's such a thing as never enough water. It's a true story. She had to go all the way around because she can't get through the barrier. So she rode up the grass, up into the alley back there and came back down. <laughs> Denver's grand plan to stop people. Stop people. It's not allowed. Government says so. You stop it. Your dog is pretty. Here's some water for you. And these these trash bags. Are you here by yourself? Yeah. Are you? That's why I have my son's dog with me. Oh. He has a great house. Protection? Yeah. Does your son come out here? Yeah. Yeah? Can he help you bag this? Yeah. Okay. He will. Yeah, if you just bag this and just kind of set it off to the side. It'll get picked up eventually, but at least, you know, the effort is made and you don't have to be in your, in a pile of trash. Is that okay if I leave them right there? Yeah. Okay. My name is Regan and I have a nonprofit and I just come out and do a little bit of outreach every now and, and again. I'm just over there having some hang time with Peter and Slabby. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have that portable shower thing right here? Yeah. What'd you do with it? Uh, the cops made me take it down. The cops made you take it down. What cops? Denver. The Denver cops or the parks? The Denver cops. Denver Did you happen Police to Department. get their names? Uh-uh. Did they tell you you could not use it? No, they just said that it's becoming a, a hazard. A hazard. A hazard. Oh, yeah. really? Sitting right here in front of your vehicle, a traffic yeah. hazard? Because someone had an accident because... I don't know. Did they threaten to tell you? No. Because I'm legally parked. Good. Well, I'll be around. What was your name? Shelly. Shelly. It's nice to meet you. Again, it's Regan. It's like Reagan, but long E. <laughs> Regan. <laughs> so, and if you need help with that, some we can come back and help you. Okay. Okay. Oh, the mosquitoes are bad right now, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the whole shower thing is a little bit of a problem right now, right? I thought that was really creative. Thanks. <laughs> no, it's good. It keeps your, you can heat your water, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Are you hungry? You need any crackers or? I have food. Do you have food? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because it was just delivered. That's why I was trying to Oh, okay. Okay. The, not that stuff, though, right? No. Oh, okay. That stuff I've been throwing out. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. That's a big old bag of carrots. Yeah. Yeah. Food bank gives that out, huh? Yeah, there's about six bag boxes of food. Who brings your food? Uh, it's called New Hope. New Hope? That's good. It gets to you because you probably can't get to it, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what my goal is, too, is to help in ways like that. So. Yeah. But they probably don't bring you water, huh? Uh, yeah, they, they do. Do they? Okay. Because yeah. you, you never can have enough, right? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. 
Okie dokie. Well, yeah, thank you. I will stop and check on you again. Alright. Take care. It's called a block party. We're just going to have block parties. <laughs> Denver told her she had to take down the shower tent. You saw her shower tent? Yeah. Yeah, Denver told her she couldn't have it up. <laughs> what the hell difference does it make? Yeah. What the hell difference does it make sitting in front of the vehicle over there? Yeah. We're going to allow the steps. Sure yeah, but don't not cars. don't pick don't up the trash. Me. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the shower took you to place the shower and do your business. Sometimes. Oh, can I pick those up? You got those, okay? Okay. I just sat them down there on the ground. She's got a bad knee or something. She's using a Vodka. cane. Huh? Vodka. Okay. This. It's just a live stream on YouTube. Uh, I'll send you the link. You can go watch yourself. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Peter. You're just showing off for the camera now. <laughs> Oh, guess what? I have to go to the bathroom, and there's nowhere to go. Imagine that. I have to go in the bushes. If I want to use the restroom. Do you guys want to go to the restroom with me? <laughs> you want me to pee on the sidewalk? <laughs> That's what the... <laughs> See those people up there, they had to park up there. They want to walk their dog. They want to walk their dog, but they can't access the circle either, right? So they're parking where there's no parking allowed. So they can access the park. We're just over here having a block party. You want to come join us? You need some water? <laughs> it would be illegal for me to serve alcohol. Oh, I do have another food bag in there. Okay, good. I'm parked legally because there's no signage here that says I can't park here. See? And, and furthermore, Denver just creates signage. If you go on the other side of the river, they're creating all kinds of signage over there to, to scurry the homeless over there. And for this one um, real nice um, Denver police officer, he's a really good guy. And um, he's really nice to the homeless. And... Um, his, his name is Officer Jeremy Chavez. He's a really swell guy. You guys should get to know him. Um, did you catch the hint of sarcasm? Yeah, you should get to know him. Because uh, we're going to get to know him a little bit better. Maybe we can do it together. I'll ask Peter how much cigarettes are, but he could give me a minute. He actually rolls his own. That I know. It's pretty interesting. I know he buys his tobacco over it. Um, look at that sky. That's kind of crazy. He buys his tobacco over it, smoker friendly. Bye, Stephanie. Sorry. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. You shift to take care of your father-in-law in hospice. Oh boy, I didn't know that. Oh, Hika, you want to know how much cigarettes are because you quit smoking, right? So you're just doing some price comparisons. Yeah, see, people can't access the park because you can't even bring your dog in here. 
Yeah, I do think it's a lot cheaper. I'm sure that's why it does it. Hey, my friend in Texas wants to know wants to know how much cigarettes are, but you roll your own, right? So a buck a pack by rolling your own? Holy smokes. Is 20 to 25 packs of cigarettes for 30 bucks out of a bag of that nicotine and all the tobacco. My bad. I grow tobacco plants. Oh, really? Pipe tobacco. Ah, pipe tobacco versus cigarette tobacco. It's Prince Albert in a can, and it's cheaper, and it's the same thing. Do you sell those? Yeah. A quarter. You you sell your friends. You're selling 20 cigarettes a day? For a quarter? <laughs> Nothing's free. In kind? In kind donations? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Slabby. Yeah, I know. Then they have a, an underground marijuana factory. <laughs> we get the best top shelf crap. <laughs> and no, I don't smoke it. Peter offers it up all the time. I decline. Why? Because I'm just not a pot smoker. Maybe uh, I should be. I only started recently. Yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Look at Slabby. She loves you. Six pot free months in your entire life. Since you were 15? We had one summer we called for five years. And I never got busted. Oh, we were so pissed. We got busted with six ounces of meat from Apple. Busted for six ounces of weed. Let me guess. In Chicago. Uh, here, in Denver. here in Denver. In Inglewood. I in Inglewood. Yeah. Like what year? Oh, about 87-ish. 87-ish. Yeah. Did you do time? <laughs> did you do time? Well, he did time. The social workers. The kids sniffed around and they're out to the Oh, the social worker was selling weed to the no, kids? No, no. The mother. Was the mother. Weed. But the kids told the nice dare cop at school. Oh, told the dare cop yeah. at school that mom was Stop selling weed. Social worker came, what, and ripped all the kids out of the home, right? Uh, I don't think she did that part. For their safety. But you can't smack them on camera with you. But, uh, I think when this is a good spot, Peter, I think this spot's going to work just fine every day. I don't know. I like it. I don't know why they got the bear kids here. Well. No, I don't know why they put them there. You know why they put them there? No. Why? Because yeah. of you? Because that is people up and down the river. It's a close and close and park, and they will stop it now. Well, that's bullshit. They have every they have every way to, to, to tell people to just come outside of there. Yeah. But not during yeah. the day, yeah. and that's what pisses them off. Mm-hmm. And that's the bullshit piece in it all. You need to be able to sit there in that nice on that nice level ground. That's right. Yep. Yep. Needles, what have you. Well, I don't, I don't see the problem. Needles out here. I'm sorry, I got some my phone. <laughs> I haven't seen a needle out here anywhere. I don't see the problem in people moving those. It, it, it just doesn't seem like they belong there. And there's no signage that says 
No parking. Yeah. So I think I'm not even no sure this. All day. There's no shade there. I'm not even sure the city put those there. <laughs> we should just assume that some vandals uh, did it. Neighborhood vigilantes. Uh huh. Neighborhood vigilantes. Yep. Yep. Up there in the cul de sac. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I think we should get. Uh, I think we should get somebody down here with a truck that can move those. I don't see the problem in that. So you can access that shade, or, or you could just sue Denver for an ADA violation. You know that, right? That would be nice. Yeah. All you gotta do is call an attorney on Monday. We got all the documentation right here. Denver knows they're there. They've been there for four days and they've done nothing to correct the situation. You know what's amazing? I like the sound of that. Yeah. I think you should call an attorney on Monday. I'm tired of trying to work, play nice. I always thought lawsuits were bad for taxpayers. I mean, I've had like 500 reasons. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep. Oh, Bohica, my friend, my friend from Texas, he's talking to me about cigarettes. Eight bucks a pack. Yeah. And they're ten dollars a pack in Minnesota. Well, they should be. They should be fucking real fast. But money couldn't go on the government taxation. That's what government tells you they're doing with it. That's not what they're doing with it. They're pissing it away. Exactly. So uh, government. Project. Well, we're short. We got to the sidewalk here. Uh, my boat needs a new motor. Who the hell knows what to do? Uh huh. I need a bigger boat. Yeah, he's gonna come up here and help us move those. <laughs> he's on his way. He'll be here in the morning. No, Thanks, night. Bohica. Oh, yeah, by the way, all things have to happen in the middle of the night here in inner city Denver. <laughs> everybody's out on the street. They're all sleeping, so they haven't got them for the day yet. It's about at night, mostly. Dark. The raccoons, they crawl out of the storm drain and they wake up all the homeless and they all go. Yeah, it's the raccoons the What are you doing, Slappy? <laughs> she's, she's tired. She ran her little fanny off over there. She's got to recover. It's called catnap. It's a food hangover. I got it. Oh, right. Yeah, she was eating good. I do my good food. She's got the diamonds. Well, Peter, I'm going to have to go find a bush. <coughs> I don't see any signs that say I can't camp. No. No, tell you well, <laughs> the camping ban um, the has been overturned. Over. The camping ban is um, unenforceable. Huh? I don't know. I'd have to. Well, but that's why Hancock just dumped another 20 million into the shelters. Oh, they'll t oh, he's got plenty of beds for you guys. Exactly. Exactly. Violence. Yep. Uh-huh. Peter just said he's uh, living on the streets with a lot of people he wouldn't want to sleep in the same building with. I was a almost regular middle class guy. I had a microwave, a barbecue, three cars, three bedrooms. You know, I had a whole lot of crap. Yeah. Right neighborhood. Yeah. 
What's the right neighborhood? Well, in my case, I want to get a lot of room to move on it. I'm track money going in. We're building it. We're part of the track land. We're going to the uh, urban renewal. Space. And, um, yeah, look what that, well, look where that urban renewal got. Yeah, where, where my house stood, my $200,000 house is now neighbor. Uh, it's an old man. It's an old man. It's 800. His $200,000 house is now a million dollar home. That smells good. Did you finish that? I smell the onion. Yum, yum. I think I'm going to go smoke some chicken thighs wrapped in bacon. What? Chicken thighs wrapped in bacon. Because it's good dark meat. Uh, that's like dark meat. You don't like dark meat? I'm, I'm the best man. Uh, I'll eat a wing. A drumette? I'm a drumette. I like drumettes. Yeah. They got extremely expensive. Yeah, they are. No, they sorted out drumettes. They want as much as real meat. Yeah. Like meat. I don't mean hamburgers. They want to make seven and most of Look at my hand. Look at that. Yeah, it's bad. I probably have the COVID. I have COVID. <laughs> That's pretty much a C on my hand right there. <laughs> yeah, it's a C right here. COVID. The government stamped me. Are you going to get a vaccine if they come out with a vaccine for I coronavirus? Haven't decided. I haven't decided. You haven't decided? No, you want to I see thought, how many other I people die first? I don't know what happens when they pass out the vaccine. In the world. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Fire department's here. Uh oh. Oh shit. Something's on fire down there. They're going down to the camp, aren't they? I'll be back. I'll be back. Uh oh. Rut row. We gotta go see what's going down. <clears throat> Somebody probably started the porta potty on fire. Down here. 
here. Well, at least it's not you. At least it's not you. I'm going to go park down here. Think about it. I'll be right here. right there yeah so I'll be parking right here Hey, what's going on? No, hold on. I want to talk to you. Alright, hold on. I just talked to her this morning. She's walking. She OD'd, didn't she? I'll tell you right now, after you got the camera, okay? <sighs> yeah, hold on. I just talked to her this morning. Gave her some donuts and water. This is not Inglewood's jurisdiction. This is Denver. They could just get here faster. And they're bigger assholes. Can't fucking trust these guys for nothing. No, can't. Not Inglewood. No fucking way. Thank you. Appreciate you coming out here. How'd you hear about me? Over scanner? You have your way. I know. I know. I know you do. Thank you. That fucking guy right there. That fucking blonde head. He gave this right in my yard too. Yeah, I know. That's why I. Why you think he's recording? Ended up right, right here. I know. Why is he talking to him? Tell him, tell him, tell him. Ta, stop tell him, tell him, talking, talking, dude. Tell him right now. Stop. I think he's all right. Tell him. These fucking cops, you cannot trust these fuckers for nothing. Hey, if you're going to talk to the cops, make sure you do it on camera because these guys don't have body cams. You can't trust these fuckers for nothing. They're totally not trustworthy at all. It's cool if you want to talk to them. Just do it on camera. Do it on camera. Hey, Diego, tell them come here. Tell them come here.
Piglet. See, you know, you don't need cops for help. You know, first responders, those are the guys that get the shit done. Right there. Right there. These guys are in the way. Yeah, I know they are. Alright, hold on. Let me.
you find your good hands, brother. I'll get him there. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. See you later. Right. Okay, we're going to the hospital right now. So we're going to end this live stream. Sorry for the mess. All right, guys, take care. We'll start another one in a bit.